two, one. Hey everyone, welcome back. Just going to talk really quickly on what the machine gun effect is when you're dealing with sound design. So the machine gun effect, to just break it down, is when you have a recording, so a sample of something, a piece of audio, and uh, you replay it back really quickly. So if you wanted to have uh, a machine gun in a movie or a video game and you just had one one sound to use and you just looped it so it played back over and over and over again, um, the listener would likely be able to hear that it was a, the same sound because it would sound like a CD skipping. Whereas a real machine gun, when you fire it, there's ever so slightly uh, little variances in every time a bullet comes out. So there's a little bit of uh, organic, uh, I guess, modulation to the sound. And um, one of the cool things about the NES was, since it had no storage capacity, they didn't really have samples. Uh, I mean, they did, but not for sound effects, really, except for Link's sword, uh, Master Sword, in the first Legend of Zelda. That was actually a recording, but regardless, uh, most sound effects were made with the melodic channels themselves, which would cut into the music, which is crazy, but, you know, that's, uh, that's how we rolled back in the day. So the Nintendo um, really made uh, fine use of its noise channel, and uh, one of the reasons why this is kind of a cool thing, it, and, and I don't even know if they were planning for this, but it worked out great, since the noise channel can make uh, a few different noise sounds, so I'll show you those here now. And a couple, uh, it goes all the way up to F, so there's 16 different ones. Um, hexadecimal F. So anyways, let me just play you the first one, the lowest one right now, and I want you to hear how it's not just one static sound, um, even though it is static, technically the use I'm using of static here, it's not one uh, sound that doesn't change, it's actually pure random noise. You can hear it kind of rumbling, there's, there's all kinds, and you can even visualize it here on the oscilloscope. What this noise channel is made up of is a bunch of like, basically ones and zeros at, you know, different differing distances from each other and so when you play it really quickly uh, it just sounds like noise and so the next one a little faster it almost sounds like a airplane flying or something you can see the higher it gets the closer the sounds are together so anyways um, what this is doing is uh, basically just the noise channel itself um, is pure random. It's random all the time. So if you create sound effects with the noise channel, one of the side benefits is that every time you trigger that sound again, it will sound ever so slightly different. Not unlike an actual machine gun, which will sound slightly different every time you fire a bullet. Hold down the trigger. Ba 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 ba. Even my voice. Ba 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 ba. They're always slightly different. So with a recording, it's the exact same sound again. So it it is the exact same sounding thing as a CD skipping. And so in your video game, you might not want the sound of a CD skipping. You want the sound of like a realistic gun firing. Or in the case of Contra, um, you would want this sound. So that's the sound of uh, the spread shot without the square waves on because I don't want to show you that yet. So the square wave of the spread shot, or sorry, the noise channel of the spread shot sounds like this. And every time I play it, it's slightly different than the time before because it's all made from random sound. So now if I start playing it quickly... I'm trying to get it as fast as I could there so that you can hear there's almost this smooth rolling quality to it instead of a... So I want to show you now what it might sound like if you just had a sample. So um, let's open up Modplug here, and I made a sample of that exact sound. So now this is a hard code. This is going to be almost like a track on a CD. So when you hit play again, there might be slight variances just because I don't know how digital the audio uh, conversion works, but it's likely going to sound exactly the same every time to the human ear anyways. And so the sound again is... So if I play it rapid now, you might not notice when it's separate like this. But when the player starts going rapid fire, like when you stand right up next to a boss and you can start wailing on the uh, button mashing. So 
you can hear right there that you could hear clearly when every new sound was starting and it didn't have that rolling quality it had a jolted jilted sort of quality to it so that's just with the noise channel so what if we bring the whole thing together so with the square waves on the spread shot if I now bring in the square wave which sounds like this on its own so the spread shot consists of that noise channel and then this so if I trigger this in rapid succession so the same things going on here the square wave um, even though it is triggered digitally on the NES hardware if you were to zoom right in on the square wave itself um, here you can see how like there is still uh, uh, god that's awful there is a little variation in there and so with that variation too it's going to be a little better at avoiding the machine gun sound effect than if we were to just make a recording and play that back and forth but if I trigger the whole thing now I want you to listen for that rolling quality. The, the, the tighter I can get the sounds together, the more the rolling quality is going to give you like a warm quality, like an infectious quality. Like, man, I'm, I really want to button mash, you know? So here's what it sounds like with everything. So now I'm going to show you what it would sound like if the machine gun effect were in place with the whole sound effect now that we've got the square waves and the noise together and this is what it would sound like basically if your CD was skipping. So it's more robotic is, is basically the, the problem there. Um, so maybe I can do this really quickly just for your ears and your benefit. Machine gun. And without machine gun. Essentially, the solution of the machine gun effect is something you would call round robin. So if I, if you don't have, um, yeah, sorry, the reason why I was making this video, um, if you don't have an engine, a sound engine here that has noise that you're creating your sound effects with, like what if you're still making samples? How do you avoid the machine gun sound effect? Well, what you do is you create slight variations in your sound effect, and I mean slight, like little pitch variations or uh, length differences. You basically create like eight, four to eight uh, different versions of your sound effect and then you round robin them in the game. So the game will trigger either a, uh, a list of them from top to bottom. But that can also sound like a machine gun too, if it's and you start hearing the differences between the sound effects rhythmically. Uh, or they can trigger them randomly. And when they get triggered randomly, um, that's, that's what you would call round robin. So that you're basically trying to trick the listener into uh, thinking it's, it's like the Nintendo was where there's this slight uh, random variation to every sound. So basically that's what round robin is, that's what the machine gun effect is, and I guess you can decide whether you want to uh, have the machine gun effect or if you want to alleviate the machine gun sound effect. Um, and as a sound designer, I usually try to ask developers um, if they want round robin to avoid the machine gun effect. Uh, it's just something I try to offer because I, I know how infectious it was in these games when you would hear, like you'd get right up next to a boss so close that you could like hammer on the uh, trigger. Uh, and that's when you could start hearing the uh, round robin effect uh, take place and it was so infectious like if you're right next to a boss in Mega Man you just, uh, or in Contra when you hear this spread shot you just ah, you're rapid fire going at it uh, so anyways that's the round robin effect that's the machine gun effect hope you guys enjoyed it hope you learned something we'll see you guys next time <laughs>